but this is on of Mexico. Today we're having a fantastic, wonderful chili chili tonight. You could use kidney beans if you want, but it's not necessary to use them. You, you know, when you have them, use them. If you don't, you don't. Chili is a Mexican dish, and folks, I tell you something, it's very spicy. Drain the oil. You don't need so much oil. Here we go. And I'm going to put this back into the pot. Now, what I want to do now, folks, is I'm going to season this. This is going in later when I put it into the crock pot. I'm adding in some garlic powder. Move this over here. Ouch. I must cut myself. That would have been terrible. I'm adding some garlic powder in here. Just, you know, I don't want to over season it because it's going to have chili in it a little bit later. We have the chili powder sitting right here. So we'll just mix a little bit of garlic in here. Yes, I want to add one more thing salt. I did it with something I forgot. A little bit of salt. Because you don't want to put any pepper in because we're going to have chili powder and it's going to be really seasoned it up. A little bit later on, when everything is in here, I'm going to add a dash of sugar and I'll tell you why. All right, now, what I want to do now is I'm going to put the meat in here. I drain the oil. Here we go. Use chopped meat. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add my beef broth. I had to refrigerate the beef broth. The reason is, once you open this, must be refrigerated. So I said, well, I'm going to use it up. I might as well today. I'm going to grab a cup. I'm not using a whole cup because you don't need a lot of beef broth in this. Okay, just about a half a cup. And I'm honoring Mexico today. I'm honoring different parts of the world. A little bit of beef broth. You don't need a lot. A little dash more. Here we go. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add in my tomato sauce. My mom, she used to add in um, tomatoes, uh, canned tomatoes, but I prefer to use tomato sauce and some crushed tomatoes. Here we go. Now, this is going to take several hours for this to cook, and I might have to thicken it a little bit later on with a little bit of flour. We're going to mix this together. Now, this is probably going to have to be thickened later on with a little bit of flour. Hopefully not. All right, this is what we want to see. Now, the next thing is, I'm going to grab my chili powder. Now, this is very, very hot, folks. So, I can give you the choice of adding in, I would recommend adding just a tablespoon of chili powder. No more than that. I mean, there are, it, it's- Make stuff. sure that's chili powder. What? I said make sure that's chili powder. Chili powder. This is very spicy, folks. I only recommend a tablespoon. Any more than that, it's going to be really spicy, and it's you're going to oh, mix this stick. You can smell it already. You can smell it. Oh, it smells delicious. All right, we're going to cook this on high heat. One more thing I need to add in. My mom used to do this a little bit before and a little bit after. Dash of sugar. It gives you that. You don't want to have it so tangy. You want to have a little sweetness to it. Too. Here we go. A little dash of sugar. White sugar. Okay, we're gonna cook this for four hours. And this is honor of Mexico. My daughter is gonna put it on high heat once we get it, everything, after we get the phone on pause. Let me tell you. Hi folks, there's nothing better than delicious homemade chili. You can have to eat chili when you want to watch a football game. I'm going to put in just a little dash more white sugar. My mom had a habit when she made her wonderful, delicious chili Add just a little bit of sour uh, sugar into it. You want it nice and sweet, you know? All right, now, what I want to do now is, what goes really great on sour cream is, um, chili is sour cream, excuse me. Here we go. Okay. You get this in restaurants. And I notice when you go into a restaurant, they always serve a little bit of sour cream on the top. It's just the way they make sure that's how chili is made. Now also folks, you can also have nachos. It's always wonderful to go with chili. It's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. And this is in honor of Mexico. That's where they very well known is for chili from Deborah White's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.